How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got some more stuff for the hearse. We're gonna uh, install some of this stuff, some, some big things actually to get this camping ready. Today's video is not primarily about the hearse. I think you guys enjoy seeing me put this stuff in here. And just the whole project, if you guys are not caught up to it, I have three videos already up on the channel about me pretty much converting this thing. I know you guys can't see this to what it is right now. And if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure to go click the link in the bio. I got a whole playlist of Hearst videos. But with that said, today we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've been fishing, mostly because we've been working on the Hearst. So if you guys are ready to go fishing with me, just hang on for a few minutes. We're gonna get this stuff installed. Hopefully this thing is gonna be ready to go. We're gonna cut these things open, show you guys what we got. Just another step toward making the Hearst camping ready. <laughs> okay so according to this it takes 24 to 48 hours for it to completely inflate i guess is the word so this is not the it's already getting a little thicker oh yeah that's good right there All right, there we go, folks. I'm gonna get you guys out of here because you can't really see anything out there. Here we just have a smart power battery box. People use this for their trolling motors. It's got a USB right here, and it's got like a little, uh, little outlet right here that you can use. Just an overall cleaner way to keep a battery in here, and plus it gives you a few little extra outlets as well, and you can still use the little thingamajigs. Gotta find that. Thing will come in handy. This. This is going to be very handy. This is netting that I'm going to try to put on top of the hearse on the ceiling. And bummer, that ain't as big as I thought it was. Kind of disappointing. Not going to lie. I might have to go a different route with this. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Last item. I think I know what this is. Some rod holders. We got to figure out where we're going to mount these bad boys. It takes screws. And I don't really know. We might could just screw them right there, Johnny. We think. Probably could. We think. I think that's gonna work good. We might actually get that done today. We can actually probably get a little bit bigger battery. There we go. All set. I tightened it up a little bit. Let's uh, plug it up and see if it works. I'm not gonna be able to fit this thing underneath, but I do wanna be able to use the outlets and all that stuff too, so I need all that stuff accessible, which I could run some wires and make like different outlets. And that's probably what I'll end up doing. Does it work? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, it does. Perfect. We're gonna to have to come up with a better system on this though. So that's got the battery rigged up for now. I'm probably not gonna leave it like this because there's just too many cords dangling around. I need to really come up with a better system on this. So I don't think it's gonna be that all that difficult. I got plenty of wire, plenty of wire and stuff. I'm actually, I've got the boat torn apart right now. So that's something we've been working on. I've got all that good stuff. Battery's all cleaned up, good to go. This is gonna be a work in progress. I don't know, this is not really the length that I'm wanting. I may just throw this in old RAV4 over there and call it good because I actually wanted more netting. I may just go with the classic, just like- Bungee cord. Just, yeah, just the bungee cord netting. Probably, I feel like that'd probably be more versatile. I kind of like this though, because it's it's got a zipper and the stuff's up in here, but it probably honestly be hard to get stuff out though. So I may just scrap this idea, but I think this right here is definitely gonna be a, a good play. We'll try to get these up real quick. We are drilling into this. It's not that solid. There's not gonna be a ton of weight put on these. And there's another little thing up there. I don't even know what you call this. There's another one up there that we're gonna put the other one in, and I think that'll be perfect. Uh, we're gonna finish up drilling this one, drill the front the front one, and then we'll see how the rods fit. It's thick foam. That is pretty thick. That means it ain't gonna go nowhere though. God. What do you think? The question is, how many can it hold? That's the real question. Would you look at that? What? What are you laughing at? I was laughing at Luke. Would you look at that? I don't think that could have worked out no better. No. Daggone. 
Dang on. Three rods, that's that's plenty enough for anything we'll ever need. I mean, you got you got things covered. I'm going pine hopping with three rods. Pillow. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe we pulled this off. I like this better than the yeah, under the rod storage. Like originally I was gonna put the rod storage underneath, but that would have took up all of our floor room. So putting this up here just makes so much more sense because this is room that was not gonna get used. You know what I mean? I've got to tell y'all, I'm pretty pleased about how things are going with the hearse. I'm, I think everything has worked out pretty much as as well as it could have. I'm terrible for starting projects and not finishing them, but I kind of made a big investment to the hearse and I'm glad I've stuck with it and I'm glad that we have pretty much got it done for the most part. This is gonna be a continued project, gonna be constant modifications and things that we're gonna be making changes to the hearse. So if you guys enjoy that type of content, make sure to subscribe and of course turn on your bell notification. Initially I had plans to camp tonight and thought about making that the second part of the video. However, I'll probably go ahead and add some trout fishing that I done a couple months ago. We absolutely slay the trout out at one of my little honey hoes. They stock them in there and we brought a ton home to eat. And I think you guys will enjoy the footage, so stay tuned. Appreciate y'all for watching. Again, like and subscribe. Let's get into the fishing footage. I've already almost slipped and fell a few times. It's rained a little bit. It's kind of damp. These leaves are super slick. Um, but we're gonna work our way up here and uh, get set up and try to hurry up and get to fishing because like I said, we don't have a lot of, a ton of time. Yeah, they're loaded in here. These trout have been recently stocked. Nothing too complicated. We got the old banana stick from videos past right here. Just a little ultra white eagle claw set up. Got a little Popeye looking jig thing there. We're just gonna leave that on. We've got the juice right here. And I think that this right here should, I can't really smell. <laughs> Honestly, so I don't know what it smells like. I'm just gonna get a little piece of this, roll it up into a ball, put it on the hook, and that should be what we need to get the job done, boys. Oh, oh, got one. There he is, there he is. Little guy, little guy. There we go, baby. Should we keep some of these? Matt, do you wanna try to keep some? Sure. Let's try to keep some. I just feel bad for more than likely them going to die and us not keeping them. So I think we're probably going to try to keep a few. I'm telling you guys, I can you can literally just sit here and count these trout. Like they are so this water's so clear. It's insane. The one who's got it. There he is. There he is. That's just a little guy. He came off. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Heck yeah. Keep Heck yeah. Is he a good one? Matt, we sabotage your drag again. No, real. <laughs> I think it's Oh no. That's a good one. On the artificial, what a pink little pink grub thing. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Matt hooked up with his first yeah. trout. Have you ever caught trout before? Once a time when I was a kid. A long time ago? Oh. That's a good eater. We'll keep that one. I'm catching the, I'm over here in the dink den, boys. All right, we'll probably keep this one. What do you say? Pretty small, but we might as well keep them. Yeah, yeah this power bait is automatic. <laughs> There's you one. I swear they don't like it just sitting there. Look how much energy these guys give off. You know what? That's crazy, man. It really is. It's wild. They don't have anything that can hurt you. You can just grab them and do whatever with them. But here's another one for the bag. Put them in the bag. <laughs> it's too easy. Can all three of them stand up there? Huh. Probably not. 
What's up, boys? Matt is wanting to take some trout home. Me and Zach have actually already had our spoil of trout over the last week, haven't we? That makes us four, guys. You want to cover that hook pretty good. That's the main part. And then you just take this. Here comes Zach. He can't handle it no more. He's wanting a power bait. I got some power bait there for sale if anybody wants some. They don't want it sitting. I've just kind of been floating it by their face. They just want it kind of brought right by them. And they all start chasing it. When they get in competition, it's over. Watch that little bitty guy eat it. That got it. That's a good one, boys. Oh, that was a, did you see that one? That's a freaking tank. That was a giant. And got it. Oh, God. These are awful little. Is that a rainbow trout? Yeah. He was all over it right there. You got one on right now. I right, still on. There you go. I can't, I can't go without catching them. My hook's a big boy hook. I, can't see I bet he swallowed it too. Pretty good, man. Is that a good one? Oh, heck yeah, that's that's probably the biggest one yet. There you go, just grab him. He ain't got nothing that can hurt you. There you go. Back to present day. I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the videos and are enjoying the Hearst videos as well because there's a lot more of those to come. Definitely more camping stuff. We got all kinds of different challenges we can do. And of course, right now is prime fishing season. But we're going to continue to pump out some content. Hope y'all are enjoying it. And if you want to help out the channel to help me kind of like keep getting cool things like the Hearst and add modifications to it and stuff, the best way to do that is to go check out the links in the description. Use my codes. And that just lets my sponsors know that you guys are hearing about them from me and a lot of those links are affiliate links so i get a small percentage of what is sold again i want to say thank you guys for supporting me and watching the video to this point y'all stay tuned for some more awesome content appreciate you guys see you next time on another episode fish with tate